today I'm going to show you how to design a channel light like this so you can you know clip in a either a piece of acrylic if you have a laser cutter or you can 3d print a top like that and you can see in there it's got a little ledge for it to sit on and a brim at the bottom so this is how I did it all you need is a program that can trace an image and offset an image so I'm using my laser program but Adobe Illustrator would be able to do it and I'm sure a lot of programs can do it just this is the one I'm using so what you want first is ungroup everything this outside line I'm just going to delete because this is already an enclosed design so first of all I'm going to say file because we need this piece export save as an SVG and I'm going to call this SUP okay so now I'm going to duplicate this outside line because this is where we want the next piece to start and then this one you want to offset it outwards make sure and offset it as wide as you want your wall to be so I'm going to say two millimeters so now I'm going to delete this one and save this so file right the next one is going to be a brim on the outside so I'm going to delete this line which I know is two millimeters away and offset this one outwards three millimeters so now I'll have a one millimeter brim around it okay file export and for the last one I want to make the little ledge for the inside so I'm going to go back back so now with this one to make the little brim on the inside I'm going to offset it inwards and you know make sure it covers this edge so three millimeters and now you've got a millimetre line all the way around. So you want, okay. Select these, select the two of them. Okay, so this one's got the brim on it. File, X. All right, so in Tinkercad, I'm gonna get rid of these and import these files, what I just did. Okay, so now you just got to make sure they're in the order that you want them in and how thick you want them. So you can see if I slide this one down, this is the outside edge. So this is the brim. Okay, so I'm going to make the brim one millimetre thick. I'm going to move this Superman out of the way for a minute. this is the actual thickness of the walls that you want so and if you press the letter D it'll drop it right down to the bed like that and this one is the little inset uh, I'm gonna move this up more out of the way so you can see and this one should be a millimeter offset inwards so yeah you can see down there So now all you've got to do is group them together. So I'm going to select them three, group them. And now I've got my brim, a little ledge, and the thickness I want. You can still adjust this, but it's going to adjust the other stuff a bit with it. But, you know, it can still be done. But you can see the bottom getting thicker. And then whatever you print this out of, it's just going to slip right down there I mean if you're doing it and you want to shine light for it you probably just want it very thin I'll just do it a millimeter just to show and then that'll drop into there so first I'm going to select this because you want to do them one at a time so select this bottom one go to export OBJ and now do that one and then select the other piece export just make sure this one's ticked the selected shape and then obj and now you can extract these so just extract all make sure you know where they're saving like me to my downloads and then you can actually just drag it right from here uh over cura and then just drop it in cura 
That'll give you the one part. So I'll quickly slice that one. One thing you want to make sure is you don't have supports on. And it's up to you whether you put a brim or not. Sometimes a brim's good just to hold it in place. I mean, it is all touching the bottom, but I'm going to put a brim on mine, but no. No supports. Otherwise, the supports mess this little ridge up. So. Now, if I preview it. I'll zoom in a bit you can see it's got the extra brim at the bottom where it's green and red for it and then you can see it steps in comes up until the little shelf so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible